is going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with some more dark dimension 6 progression in regards to where i am so uh from my first video guys that i made yesterday um i made some really really meaningful progress on node one and then i did a couple more attempts today but what i wasn't expecting was to actually wrap it up so um yeah it's just the synergy and the setup of my team uh it remains unchanged so i'm going to put the link to my first video below if you guys are interested to see where it's at but keep in mind i am 100 percent free to play and um you know it's just great to see that even a low level roster with a baby apocalypse was still able to get the node uh, node one completed uh in a short amount of time so it's all about again um the, having that ultimate goal i think dark dimension six and dark dimension in general is just one of the more the most exciting uh modes of the of the game just because you get to theory craft use different combinations of characters and synergies and get to really experiment and see you know what is the best way to tempt these nodes Having said that, guys, I wanted to capture it on video as well, but uh, what I wasn't expecting after completing the first node was that I am actually in the top 1,000 of uh, players actually being able to participate in Dark Dimension 6. So uh, this is huge for the free-to-play community in the sense that, you know, it's definitely possible. You don't need to spend money in the game if you're strategic and smart with how you invest resources. And again, uh, with the characters that I brought in, the five, um, let me just recap for you guys quickly here. Uh, it's Captain America, Kang the Conqueror, Black Widow, Val, and Apocalypse. Each of them having their own really unique taste in terms of what they bring to the table. But uh, more importantly, though, I was strategic in the sense that I brought one bio, tech, skill, mystic, and mutant character to balance out the resources. And that ultimately is how I was able to achieve this goal now. So having said that, guys, let's wrap up the rest of the node one progression here. I'll showcase for you guys my attack order. Hope this helps you. And uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you as always. And let's get right to it. And even for me as well, uh, the synergy of this team, I'm still learning the ropes of it just because of the fact that, uh, you know, I haven't used them before together. But in this, continuing where we left off, guys, um, I would highly, highly recommend taking down uh, the damage dealers, right? So that's why we are focusing on that right corner. But we didn't even hesitate uh, not to use Kang's ultimate just because of the fact that uh, these Dark Dimension characters are just so tanky. And we want to be taking advantage of damage. Black Bolt, if you recall from our last attempt, he was stealth, so we couldn't clean up here. We want to be taking down these damage dealers before the next wave drops. Um, and what I really like about Apocalypse, if you are planning to use a special, is that he does redistribute HP, apply some immunity, and as well, um, just the heals is huge. It bypasses heal block as well. So we're cleaning up here. Uh, we're, we're pretty much getting ready for the next node to drop here, right? And excuse me, the next wave to drop here. And, and keep in mind, we want to be utilizing Apocalypse and Val's ultimate abilities as much as we can. So this massive, massive wave does drop, um, and it's a pretty problematic wave because it's a combination of A-Force in addition to some elements of uh, Masters of Evil. We still have that Iron Fist um, stun from previously before, but you can see by using Val's attacks, uh, we've activated the exposure there uh, in terms of um, you know uh, generating energy every time that enemy is attacked so we go ahead we activate apocalypse's ultimate uh, you want to be using this to the utmost whenever there's a a, a, t a big ticket enemy uh, if you will that you want to focus on so in this case um, damage dealers like captain marvel um, they need to be taken down asap uh, otherwise they can easily wipe out um, our team especially given the the scaling of dark dimension six so we go ahead here uh, with uh, Apocalypse. And like I said, you want to be aiming for that significant enemy that you uh, do not essentially want to face up against. So com combining both Apocalypse and Val's ultimate abilities is honestly how you're going to be doing a lot of the damage, especially if you're using a similar team to myself. Uh, so you can see the HP redistribution, the revives if needed, but just look at how damaged now the enemies are, making this really impactful wave um, nothing but short work just because of the fact that we were able to combinate those attacks. Now, keep in mind too, by using all that energy, we are now focused on reservation mode in terms of trying to generate that back um but as well uh we have to make sure that we're also crowd controlling enemies that are getting the attack so trying to apply Val's basic ability adjacent to other enemies so that way it's spreading that exposure um that way you know you're going to get multiple options in order to generate energy back and it's absolutely huge 
now that these enemies are uh, essentially in a weakened state, um, we're essentially just trying to clean up. I, I don't think there's anybody else here that's a, that's a big priority. Uh, but what I would recommend, though, is uh, focusing on damage dealers. So, you know, Calling Wing uh, is a good one. Um, if you see that the troopers are just easy to wipe out just like that, uh, it's always a great idea to clean them up. But try, again, to try to maintain the basic abilities if you can, unless you see that there's a significant enemy coming uh, with an ability, right? And you're just never going to know because um, just look, for instance, right there, Iron Fist, just how strong their abilities are uh, but remember you want to try to uh, activate them um, and, and, and trigger those exposures as much as you can um, I see that I still have another Val ultimate but you know you have to be cautious because if you use this ability so soon too uh, the next wave is coming right for me um, I saw the opportunity but as well I kind of need my Captain America back um, so I just took the gamble there um, you potentially could have cleaned it up without it, but I mean, uh, completely up to you if you, um, especially knowing that there's a couple more ways of enemies left, uh, that is the one thing to be cognizant of. So after that, then we do have a uh, absorbing man spawning here. We got Jessica Jones and shield agents. So not much more left, uh, essentially just cleaning up before the next wave. Just getting out some footage to save you guys a bit of time there. We go ahead, we clean up absorbing man, and then you are just going to be left with this last shield agent, uh, in terms of, uh, difficulty and then again this is a good place unfortunately we did lose Captain America again but I saw that we're you know close to the next wave so what I wanted to do then was essentially clean him up and then we can activate Val's ultimate right away because these guys just hit absolutely so hard even that absorbing man uh, which is typically a tank um, also uh, being able to take down our, our ally there quite easily but you know Captain America um, he's got great value with the defense up and so forth and energy granting that we you know there's no regrets using him even despite the number of times he has fallen um, he's still a very useful character especially if you're soaking up damage so hopefully you're gonna get a similar setup to like me where um, you're gonna start off the turn uh, with Val's ultimate here and you can actually bring back Captain America it's pretty notable because of the fact that we get him back right away but you can see kind of similar to the first node attempt that we did uh, we're up against another Kang now I don't believe this Kang is as powerful as the first note uh, the first wave that we went up against but um you can see here we have an opportunity once again to combinate uh, Val's ultimate with Apocalypse's ultimate given all the energy we saved up from attacking those minor enemies. So the, ideally the goal here is pretty much one thing, right? It's going to be focusing you know, on taking down Kang. Um, if you're not able to, like, like you just saw my Apocalypse going down, that's quite alright. You really just want to focus him if you're able to. But at this point when I lost Apocalypse, I knew that... Um, you know, there is a good chance that this was not going to be the finishing, uh, the finishing attempt, but we're going to try and do as much damage as we could. And that's exactly what we focus on here. Having said that, you just got to know which ones you're going to lose and, uh, the vac the victories that you're willing to take, right? So we know with, uh, Apocalypse falling and my Black Widow, we know it's coming soon. So, uh, you know, at this point, make that recognition that you can't, you know, try to save up energy. Don't be using abilities if you know, uh, the temp is pretty much going to be a standstill and you're going to be wanting to just, uh, preserve energy, um, for the next, uh, for the next attempt, obviously. So, uh, that was a really, really good attempt regardless. So had to reset a few times because I, I really had one uh, mission for this next attempt afterwards being uh, number five is that uh, this Kang needs to go down, you know, um, regardless of what happens or how many enemies we take down, uh, if this Kang is, you know, going to be here in the gone going nodes going forward, we're just not going to have a chance to take him down. So I knew that going forward. Uh, we know that it only takes a couple turns to actually utilize uh, Apocalypse's ultimate. So essentially, we just need to basically survive uh, to use Apocalypse's ultimate and ideally take down Kang with this burst. So um, took a few tries there. You might just have to soak up damage and, and keep trying a few tries if you're able to do that. But that's why it's important with Dark Dimension 6. Uh, understanding that it's going to take time you may have to it may take multiple tries right so i was able to finally get a chance to use apocalypse ultimate it looks really bad because our entire team is essentially gone uh, but you know what like we're still taking that chance and boom i got lucky in the sense that the black widow i love the fact that she can strip pauses we were able to actually land the ultimate on Kang, and finally that was a you know, despite not really getting where um, too far in this attempt, uh, our main goal was taking down Kang, and that was exactly what set up the stage for the last and final attempt. Here. So at this point, yeah, uh, Apocalypse is obviously going to go down, and we finish things up now with the last attempt here. Super, super fun though. I mean, I just love the the the, the theory crafting and the RNG involved in in Dark Dimension because like you just don't know what you're going to get with each attempt, and um, you know, it's just like I said, one of my most favorite game modes. 
um, and it's like passion because you can always, it's not like a one and done team. You can have, you can use a multitude of different ideas. So starting things off now, guys, with Kang down, this is a great position to be in. Uh, we want to control that Shang-Chi because he's got that turn rewind and cleanse. Um, so something to be mindful of. That Black Bolt is still, um, you know, from the last uh, wave that we have. But thankfully, as so long as he doesn't kill anyone, we can still revive them with Val. So not a big deal. But Shang-Chi and, and uh, Black Bolt are pretty much the two that we got to be mindful of for this uh for this last wave here and it would it's going to put us in a great position for success if we're able to take them out uh and as well um preparing for the last and final wave that's going to spawn so uh, seeing that we have the special there to ability block we obviously take advantage we shall cheat and finally boom another apocalypse ultimate so that's what i mean like even with a, a small apocalypse not fully upgraded uh, he's just got huge value in the sense that he can wipe out Alana and, well, I mean, first his ultimate, you know, applying the trauma and flipping pauses, but uh, just that one shot that, you know, you don't need it at 100% HP. If you're able to weaken the enemy, um, he just does all the dirty work, which is absolutely huge. And these are essentially the last 10 characters, guys. So you see we're in a great position uh, once again to activate Val's ultimate and the, the, the stealing of HP, the revive, just icing on the cake of what we need exactly, you know. Um, absolutely huge takes out four enemies and now we're pretty much at a cleanup stage but be mindful here we're still up against some very very powerful enemies uh and i would recommend if you're able to leave some of them so that way uh you know we're going to be able to generate some energy back but it may not be perfect because uh ideally you want to have everyone at max uh, energy so that way uh we can start out the next node with a huge bang um so recommending once again um if you're able to you know strike the exposed characters in this case absorbing man uh he's going to give energy back to val uh, but as well, we have to be mindful of the fact that we're going to be needing um, to control some of these enemies to buy time. Um, so, you know, don't stop using your abilities yet. But, you know, I love Black Widow's uh, ultimate because it stuns. But as well, applying that bleed is going to take them down over time. Uh, absolutely huge. We want to make take advantage of the exposure as much as possible, especially Val having just recently used her ultimate. Um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, that ultimate is going to be ready to go. Uh, or at least as close as possible, right? But go ahead. Use the special ability block to, time, to buy time. But you can just see how powerful Val and the combination of Apocalypse is. I mean, uh, I honestly can't imagine not having these two um, for the runs just because you can just see how much impact they have and pretty much you know Kang's great Captain America's great Black Widow's um, decent support with the rework but they're all surrounding cast uh, the true story here is honestly Val and Apocalypse and getting their attacks uh, out as soon as possible that's why it's such a difference maker to have um, you know big Apocalypse fully upgraded because his abilities reduce that cooldown as well uh, he gets additional um, uh, bonuses too so th these are the four I would recommend, guys. I like leaving the Shield Trooper. I mean, um, if you feel like, you know, you want to use the defense up and grant more energy, you can. But I feel like because they were ability block already, uh, that we are in a pretty good spot in terms of just managing. Worst case, one of them drop or, uh, you know, like uh, especially Captain America, who seems to fall quite a bit. You can always revive or, or just wait till the next day with the refreshes that you get. Uh, but we're, as, as you can see, we're in a great spot. Captain America is not going to be fully healed, but we can always heal him up. Uh, manually but this is exactly how you want to end off uh, the match guys everyone almost basically has full energy with the exception of apocalypse just given how strong how uh, long his cooldowns are but you know kang's almost ready to go with ultimate uh val's abilities are good and i think captain america uh yeah has both of both of his abilities ready to go so we're in a good spot uh especially for starting this note black widow's in a great spot too so there you have it node one completed um i i did multiple attempts and i just like used some of the the built-up energy but as well as a few cores because i was just getting so excited with starting this that i really wanted to showcase and wrap this up for you guys so uh those of you starting or getting ready you can see that this is a very very viable team so six full attacks as you can see uh from my earlier video majority of the progression made in that third attack the setup with the 79 million and then last but not least that attack four that was huge that got me into the the second last wave and then finally cleaning things up because we were able to kill uh kang on attack five and wrap things up with attack six with the energy uh ready to go in our reserve so um yeah uh super exciting stuff i'm gonna keep you guys up to date as much as i can thank you as always good luck in your guys's dark dimension six preparation and i'll catch you guys in the next one